And we'll use the pipe now. Aha! That was a lot of torque you found there, Jill. Okay, cool. So now we have a way out. <clears throat> we must crawl through the former fireplace. And this gives us a couple of things. Supervisor's report. The endurance ability of the contaminated guinea pigs is truly incredible. Even when shot in the vital area, they can sometimes survive for several days without taking care of the wound. However, after prolonged exposure to the virus, the guinea pig's intelligence level decreases to that of an insect. Even though reviving the dead seems to too disgusting, the virus may still be of use. If we inject the virus into our POWs and, re and release them, they would return to their units and then turn into zombies. This plan may work well for us in the future. Ew. Mm. I, I think that's like a dozen different war crimes. In certain areas, the virus seems to have caused the mutation of animals and plants. It may be difficult, but it'll make a good sample for the bioweapon development. I've heard that there is a giant alligator, but I have only encountered a giant creature moving underground. I don't even want to imagine what creature spawned that monster. I encountered Nemesis. If I didn't know about it, I'd have been uh, <clears throat> I'd have been contaminated and would become would have become one of them by now. If it is still walking around in the city, its mission is not yet over. Stars members must be very tough since they have survived until this point. However, they cannot hold out forever. <laughs> Uh, clearly you've never met Jill Valentine. Uh, she survived a zombie infested mansion. Yes, I will take the park key. There's a lot of park keys in this game. It's probably for that one. That you... Oh, no. Okay. Grenade ammo. I probably want that. Oh, wait, hold on. What's that? Facts from the HQ. Attention, the Raccoon City project has been abandoned. Our political maneuvering in the Senate to delay their plans are now futile. All supervisors should evacuate immediately. The U.S. Army is going to execute their plan tomorrow morning. The city will be obliterated at daybreak for sure. Wait, what? Mm. Huh, what does that mean? It's set to the auto-receive mode. Okay, well, that doesn't help. Uh, all right. So they've been observing the infection of Raccoon City. You, you can now officially confirm that. Oh, what's this? All supervisors <coughs> terminated. Return immediately. Repeat. All supervisors return immediately. Over. Okay. All supervisors return immediately. And that person who's dead on the floor looks like a crash dummy. Oh, wait, what? I'm quite impressed you've managed to stay alive up until now. You bastard! And you seem to be doing a pretty good job of looking out for yourself. How about helping out? I have no intention of helping you. Because we're nothing but pawns in all this? In a manner of speaking, you are. Our employers wanted the detailed analysis of the zombie beings which were created through infection <coughs> by the T-Virus. You're saying that they deliberately sent in a military unit to be butchered by their creations? Not exactly. Although the conditions encountered on this operation were extreme, it was an unexpected outcome that the team would be wiped out. We were only required to collect live data from the subjects. Ah! Another mutant! Get back here! So yeah, the charitable work that Carlos was doing was more to gather field data on creatures like Nemesis. Oh, was there a box? So they actually sent them in to die. Mm. They, under the guise of humanitarian aid. Uh, what, what were you talking about? Oh, never mind. And here I started up another load, uh, another loading screen. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this again. So yeah, Nikolai's a dick, in case you guys couldn't tell. 
Um, I, th I think the premise of, of Nikolai is that he figured out what they were doing. And at that point, he tried to get information to be able to sell after he got out of Raccoon City. I, I need to double check on that. I think that's how the timeline goes. Because after this, uh, basically the game gets a lot bigger without spoiling. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna take the grenade shells or rounds. Because <clears throat> I don't think we're gonna need the lockpick where we're going. But now they're they're telling pe they're they're telling supervisors to get out because something's going to happen by morning. Right. Not sure what, but it doesn't sound good. Okay. I'm going to assume that. Yeah, we're probably gonna want both the grenade and the and the flame rounds. So let's do this. We're gonna save really fast. Let's see how far we can get, because we're actually almost running out of time. For this recording session, at least we got like, we're pretty freaking far at this point. Now we're starting to find out about what Umbrella was actually doing here. <clears throat> it's so great to know that we were all nothing more than experiments to Umbrella. That's right. We're just their little pawns in their game of chess. Oh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Well, we'll forget that that happened. Uh, so go out here. I think we've got a boss fight in the next little bit. Yep. Uh oh. Oh, what's Ooh. this? What's going on? Oh crap. <coughs> uh oh. Hi. What is that? In case we haven't been formally introduced, it's a giant worm. It is a graboid. I'm sorry. It is the grave digger. Great graboid. Might as well be. Are you going with Tremors now? Yep. Uh, insert giant sandworm joke here. I mean, seriously, I could make a ton of references. Alex can make just as many. Okay, so... How are we doing? Okay, we're still fine. We're still fine. Uh... Ow. Okay, that hurt. Yes, it did. Caution. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do the mixed herb first. Oh, you freaking worm! <laughs> I'm your Kevin Bacon! <laughs> he, he's, he's the head guy of Tremors, right? I, I know he's in the movie, that's all. Kevin yeah. Bacon's in everything. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even do that. Do what? Uh, I did not active trigger to dodge. It just did instinctively. Sometimes you should never question on how. Ooh. Oh, oh, I am out. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's put these in. I think we can just nuke him with grenade launcher, but oh, oh there yeah. we go. Yay! <laughs> we're we're coming in loaded for bear, so this is this is just fine. Uh oh. oh okay, so round two, motherfucker. Actually, this is this is important. I believe we've got to do something. Try and lure it to the water. Yes. Oh, uh, caution. Okay. I believe. Oh shit. Okay. We gotta do something to to get the electricity going into the water. Maybe. I think we gotta knock one of the. Oh, and 
dead, it doesn't even matter because I killed it. <laughs> but you can insta-kill him by putting him in the water. So, like, getting him to, to put his body in the water, he'll just die. <coughs> oh, it says aim at two light posts. Oh, you had to shoot him! And fire away, <laughs> and it will electrocute Mr. Digger for a quick... Yeah. Painless kill. That's that's what you needed to do, and and also it hurts us. So. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that post fight. Okay. So well, now that this has happened, that's the only way to kill it if you're really low on ammo. Yeah. Like, I can escape by climbing up this fence. Will you climb up the fence? Yes. Why is there this strange narrator who's constantly asking me if I want to do this? I don't know. Why am I here? Oh, Ooh, hi! Spiders! Spiders are back. Spiders! The one spiders. thing that, that hasn't made it into the remakes. Uh, mm. Aside from one. One has a spider. Yeah, one has the spiders. Three has something kind of like them. But... Yeah, I, they they have other kinds of bugs that, that came later. <coughs> Let me give you a parasite. Are you cautious? Oh. Yes, yeah. but I'm going to see if I can make it without using up more ammo. Okay. Yes, yes, go up the ladder. Yay! So now we're back up here. I believe now we can open up the other door, the padlock, with this park with this parks and rec key. Because we all love that, right? Yeah. We all love that show. <laughs> I guess. Uh, actually, I've never watched any of it. Okay, you know what? Ha! Wow. I don't even know I how I hit the other guy, <laughs> but I did. That is one magic bullet. That is one smoking gun. All right, sorry, we're done with puns. <coughs> but are we though? Are we really, Alex? I don't know, and I don't think so. I don't think so either. Puns are so much fun. Why? Why would we be done with them? Okay. Thankfully, zombies are not respawning here, and now we're probably gonna get more stuff that respawns. Because it feels like they should be here. I guess not. Maybe because the hunters were here. The hunters ate everything within the within a one mile vicinity. Yeah, okay, you've used the park key. The park key. You no longer need this key. Will you discard it? Yes. yes. And then we find out that Nemesis was actually behind the gate. We're dead. The end. <laughs> Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh boy. Uh, here's my Iron Man pose. Okay. Push him off. Push him off or jump off? Push him off! <laughs> he did not wow. think that through. I can't believe it's that easy. If you choose... I'm, I'm guessing we're gonna get a reward for for pushing him off. No, it doesn't say. Oh, okay. Well, sorry, Alex. <laughs> you came up with a wise decision, and it didn't. It decided not to reward you. Oh, and if he jump off, <coughs> he probably die. <laughs> oh, that would suck, wouldn't it? Treatment no, I, control I room. Know. It's locked. Uh, uh what about? I would just here? have to like go through a bit of a maze down there. Probably. And he'd be following Carlos. it. Oh, hi, Carlos. Jill, listen very carefully. They're planning on launching a missile directly into the city as soon as day breaks. The explosion will be powerful enough to destroy everything. Are you sure about that? Positive. I heard it straight from a supervisor. They'll go this far to cover their tracks. <laughs> 
Come on, we have what? to hurry. There isn't much time left. Wanted to make sure you were paying attention. So now we know why they were evacuating the supervisors. Mm -hmm. Except this game doesn't properly explain it. They launched a nuke. Yeah. At Raccoon City. They're going to just wipe it off the map. And we have till morning to get out. Jill has till morning to get out of this doomed city. Yes, in the Resident Evil universe, the United States has launched a nuclear strike on its own soil because they had no other choice. And it did absolutely nothing! <laughs> yeah. It's like, I think they do that in the movie 28 Days Later. And, or, well, I mean... Or it's that, I don't know if that's what, the one I'm thinking of. It's the one wasn't with there, Wasn't there a Hoffman. sequel to that 28 weeks later and, and there was still more? Probably, yeah. Because that's how zombie movies work out. Apparently, the United States government has never seen a single Resident Evil game or movie. Well, it was that or it was Contagion. I think it's the one with Dustin Hoffman in it. That's, okay. Uh, right, they, facility key. We want this. They really like, quick. And oh boy. We have lots of gunpowder in here. Gun I powder. might have to take some time off and like off camera and just use up a lot of our gunpowder. Yeah, so much it, of it. Yeah, we have a lot. So much so that it's taking up a majority of our of our item box. And again, we're we're playing on a on an easier mode, so at that point, yes, the game is being charitable. <coughs> it's assuming that you're a piss poor shot and that because <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> well, that, that that's here's the thing: if you don't, in a weird way, this game was kind of meant for you. Yeah. Because they they had already done a couple of games at this point, and they wanted to bring more people into the series, so they they did give an easy mode that was extremely charitable because they wanted people to experience the story. Hence why the casual modes have been added into the remakes as well as into uh, the the newer games. I mean, for crying out loud, five and six have co-op mode. So yeah, you can play with a friend if you want to. And, and things get harder. <laughs> nice. Do they? Yeah, no, yeah, they do get harder because they basically treat it like uh, Diablo or or Borderlands, where things get stronger because there are two players. Oh wow, <coughs> the decision on the bridge does two different things. Okay, and what are those things? Well, since um, well, I don't know if we want to be spoiling, but go ahead. The game has been spoiled. Okay, so if you pushed, if you if you pushed him off. Then you meet Carlos in the office. Uh-huh. And then you end up, you go, and Nemesis kills Nikolai. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. But I, it, I'm kind of glad that we didn't do that then. If you jump off, you meet Carlos in the sewer. Yes. And then Nikolai <coughs> steals, uh, steals helicopter. Yeah, so at that point, you can get... But if you make no decision, Jill is forced off. Jill is forced off. You have to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we did the push him off and it's OK. Again, pretty much the only thing that matters in in the canon is Raccoon City was nuked. Yeah. All right. Raccoon City was nuked, which after this point basically makes Resident Evil into kind of a, a, a globe trotting affair where we now have to stop um, Umbrella kind of worldwide. <clears throat> so now everybody can experience the original Raccoon City trilogy and see like how how shit hit the fan as it were. And man, what a fan to hit, right? Yeah. OK, so let's go ahead and save things because we are officially out of time. When we come back, we got to get out of here, Alex. We've got. Oh, sorry. Manager's diary. April 25th, today is my 30th birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I'm very happy because my work, the work environment is very different from life in the university. May 14th, the disposal system has been completed. Using a special kind of gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. We have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system, since it is not 100% stable yet. May 20th, 
While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you are locked inside. June 7th, the guinea pigs we have to dispose of are increasing. The system is not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions and I am getting extremely frustrated. July 16th, we can't dispose of all the bodies and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th, though the function of the system decreases, the number of the bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have been infected by the disease. I have continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for me. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. You've taken the diary. Well, that that was that was motivating, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. So unfortunately, we're going to have to end things here. When we come back, we have got to get out of Raccoon City because they're going to nuke the place. They're going to blow it up. Blow it up, yo. Game over, man.